it was his death, I suppose because of the knocking in the rivets. This river used to be the focal point for a third of the world's ships being built. The basis is that Glasgow was made by its river and the river made Glasgow. With the relative industrial decline of the city in terms of heavy engineering, shipbuilding, coal mining, the city had to reinvent itself. Comme d'autres métropoles mondiales, Glasgow s'est lancé dans un vaste plan de revitalisation des berges de son fleuve, la Clyde. La ville a multiplié les projets d'aménagement dans le but de faire à nouveau de cet axe fluvial une artère économique fédératrice. Où en sommes-nous aujourd'hui Cette stratégie a-t-elle permis à Glasgow de redynamiser les abords du fleuve et de faire de ce lieu un espace à vivre pour l'ensemble des usagers de la métropole And so we began to regenerate the city in 1983. For the 10 years after that, we regenerated in terms of culture, business conferencing, sport and tourism. I live just along the river that way uh, and I walk, work just along the river that way. So most days uh, I walk backwards and forwards for about half an hour by the river. Yeah, I think it's a great place to walk. It's much nicer than walking along uh, the roads on either side because it's free of traffic. Uh, it's pedestrian, there's clean air and there's a good view. People can cycle from the south side or west end to the city centre now. Afin d'assurer un développement urbain continu le long des berges, Glasgow s'appuie sur des îlots structurants comme le nouveau quartier de la finance. As you move along from the city centre into the International Financial Services District, that represented 1.1 million pounds of private sector investment, with the creation of 15,000 jobs on the back of that. Across the river, we have Govan. And, and Govan was a huge area uh, of shipbuilding. Now, it had become extremely dilapidated. And so over the years, we've worked with the people of Govan and of Partick to uh, look at a townscape heritage project. You, I know, are very interested in the Creative Clyde. So here, on the south side of the Clyde, we have Pacific Quay. BBC Scotland has been in the Creative Clyde area at Pacific Quay since 2007. We are making a large volume of television and radio programmes as well as online programmes. We work with our own production teams and we also work with a large selection of independent production companies. And since the BBC moved here, a lot of these companies have actually moved and based themselves in this area. We look to find ways to make this area more creative. But still, is exactly what these guys have in speed. Please welcome Salsa Celtica! BBC Music at the Key, the kind of key thing about it is it's about showing and showcasing performance, live performance and music, showcasing what's happening in the creative industries in Scotland because we want to showcase the up and coming music scene in Scotland, we want to showcase the performers in Scotland and give them a platform so that their music gets out to all different audiences. Well Glasgow is the UNESCO city of music in the UK so it's a fantastic um, area to come, it's a fantastic area to showcase all that music and all that talent. Et si Glasgow osait Si elle osait faire de ses berges un espace de mobilité innovante, réduisant la voiture individuelle à un moyen de locomotion en voie d'extinction I think it would be hard to make the whole of the riverside totally pedestrian because it's such an important artery for drivers through the, through the centre. I um, mean, we're getting the fast transit bus going to the Southern General Hospital, um, which I think will, will help people get here and get to the Riverside Museum and to the Pacific Quay site. It would be amazing if, I, if it was a carefree space. I just find it hard to think that Glasgow City Council would, would do that because I think they're quite slow in terms of um, creating cycle paths and thinking about how people use this space. It's more of a car culture. Glasgow dispose le long de son fleuve de tous éléments clés. Emploi, logement, espace vert, culture, divertissement, service, pour faire de ce programme de revitalisation un véritable succès. Depuis peu, le hub des sciences biologiques et médicales et d'ingénierie médicale que forme le nouveau South Glasgow University Hospital contribue à l'attractivité de Glasgow et de ses berges. Il portera à l'international le savoir-faire et l'industrie de la métropole dans le secteur de la santé. Our vision for the river is very much one of this being a focus and a new growth point, not only for the city, but for the whole of the metropolitan corridor. So internationally, we feel we're on our way. Il ne fait aucun doute 
que tous ces projets ont d'ores et déjà métamorphosé les abords du fleuve, leur rendant vigueur et ambition. Cependant, je ne peux m'empêcher de constater l'absence de convivialité que je juge fondamentale dans la réappropriation de l'espace par les usagers. Je pense que la chose qui est manqué de la Clyde Side à ce moment est de s'asseoir, de boire un verre, de boire un verre de café, un verre de vin dans la nuit. Vous pouvez marcher pour une longue voie à travers le centre de Glasgow et ne pas trouver de l'endroit pour stop. Oui, il serait bien d'avoir like, d'autres villes comme like cafés, um, street artistes et musique. Juste un peu de vie vraiment par la rivière, donc que les gens le voient comme un endroit de se rencontrer plutôt que de se rencontrer. Oh, c'est un peu dirty. Ce processus de revitalisation peut paraître long, voire sans fin. Mais une métropole attractive est une métropole en perpétuelle évolution. Et Glasgow est pleinement consciente des enjeux économiques et sociaux accompagnant le devenir de son fleuve. Les fondements du projet sont en place. Autour désormais des autorités locales, acteurs privés et usagers, de faire vivre cet espace urbain en plein renouveau. This is the